at setting up a scan for unusual option volume. Um, so in Thinkorswim, up here on the top you have your scan tab. So you would usually be at your trade for looking for your options. Um, but if you go here to scan, you can set up and create a scan. Um, so uh, we'll set up one. So usually I like to scan in the weeklies. Um, so you can just go to your categories um, and put those in for weekly. Uh, where is it? Yeah, so here, go under weekly. So those are ones that have expirations every week. Um, you can also, if you only want to look at S&P 500 companies, then you can put that S&P 100, 500, so you have all those different options if you want to exclude and just have top companies to look at. Um, so then from there you go over to this add filter. You can click and we want to look at options. Um, so we want to, first thing I do is days till expiration. Want something expiring either today to 50 days out. Um, you could probably do even 21 days out, so that'll be our first one, so that'll be three weeks out. Now we want volume, so I like to look for ones that have over 20,000 in option volume, and then you can add another filter, and you want to look at the last price. So then here you can put whatever price range you want. So typically I like to look at something starting at uh, 20 cents, so about $20 to, we'll go to a dollar twenty-five. So then that would be it for all of your different categories and then you would just hit scan and then it's going to look for all your options. So then also I like to have to show 50 and then have stocks and options and then you sort by the symbol so then it'll group everything together by the stock. Um, so you can see Apple there was this 273 call had 91,000 option volume and then you have AMD here for the $69 call um, which went up was 42 cents um, rose 41,000 so it shows your print cent change these are all most of them are not as valuable as we are now throughout the done for the day but during the day you'll get ones constantly added you have a lot of spies since that's heavily traded. So you can see on the SPIES, the 321 put was the most heavily traded, 155,000 contracts. Um, the SQQQ was down here as well. Tesla had one. Um, so it all just depends on your price range that you put in. You can do something smaller at 10,000 or something less for the volume. You can add open interest if you want. Um, so if you have your filters, you have all these different options if you want a specific delta or gamma or volatility or open interest. Um, you have all these different options that you can select from. And then from there, if you like it, your filter, then you can click save scan query. So we'll call this uh, 22, 125. And then you hit save. And now it's saved in your personal. So if you ever come to it, you can go load save queries, go to your personal, and then you can see we have this 20 to 125, and then it'll automatically load up. Um, one thing else you can do is share it. So I will share this one in the description below so that if you want to be able to use this yourself, you can, um, and to 
add that from the shared, you just go up to setup and open shared items and then paste that in and then it'll be saved in your favorites. Um, but you can also create it as a watch list or get alerts. Um, so that's nice. You can have a symbol, whenever a new symbol is added to this, it'll give you an alert to your smartwatch or phone um, and give you a symbol noise. So that's nice. And you can also make it a watch list. Um, so if we go over here and just pull out a watch list. Um, so if we go to personal, then we can go to 120, 10 to 125, and then it'll put all of your contracts that are in there as a watch list, which you can also pull up on your phone on your watch list. Um, so you can see that as well, whether you're here or on your phone. Um, so you can get alerts for all those that come up. So it's really helpful to be able to do that. And you have tons of customization that you can do to whatever your budget is or whatever your parameters that you want to use. Um, so if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. And I'll be working on making some additional um, Thinkorswim tutorials in the future. So thank you very much.